If you love chocolate and peanut butter and want a cookie that comes together in just a couple minutes, then you've got to try my no-bake cookie recipe. And if you love this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These no-bake cookies will be ready in just a few minutes, so let's get started. First off, you're gonna wanna get everything out because these cookies come together in two minutes, but you can't stop. There's no pause point, you can't leave. Everything comes together right away. So, measure out your quick oats as well as your peanut butter into a separate bowl. Two and a half cups of quick oats. We're also gonna measure out three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. I'm using smooth peanut butter. If you like crunchy, you could definitely use that as well. I really need to memorize the grams for peanut butter because it's such a pain using a measuring cup. I'm plopping the peanut butter over the oats. Once this mixture is all ready, we can just dump it out and, you know, make our cookies. They're so quick. This can get set aside. Now into like a medium sized pot, I'm adding half a cup of butter. If it's room temperature and to speed things up, I'm cutting it into tablespoon sized pieces. Now I'm adding one and a half cups of granulated sugar right into my pot. Measuring out a quarter cup of cocoa powder. You could use Dutch process or natural. They both work out really well. And normally I would definitely sift this, but this recipe is so forgiving. You don't need to. The last ingredient is one half of a cup of milk. In you go. Now we're gonna take this onto the stove at medium high heat. Once this is on medium high heat, you're gonna start whisking it up and it'll come together so quickly. The butter will melt and it'll come to a rolling boil. Once that a boil, give it 60 seconds on the dot and then we're gonna take it off heat and dump in the rest of our mixture. In the meantime, whisk, whisk, whisk. If you have an eagle eye, you might remember I've actually made no big cookies on the channel before, but that was such a long time ago, I've played with the recipe a little bit, and since the boys requested it, I thought it'd be fun to shoot a video for you again in my house. The last one was at the rental house while this kitchen was being built, which seems like forever ago. The butter's almost melted. I'm gonna watch for a rolling boil, and you'll see what that looks like. These cookies basically have everything. There's tons of peanut butter and chocolate flavor in them, and they're so easy too. They're like the best snack ever. I was shocked when I first started making these, how delicious they were because you're like, oh, no bake cookies. It doesn't sound like much and they're not the prettiest cookies, but they are so good. <sighs> um, this is the most funny thing ever in a tragic way. The last time I made these cookies, um, I put it up on stories and I ran out of propane while this was cooking. So I had to change it out to a pot where you can use an induction top and then continue. The same thing happened just now. I ran out of propane. <laughs> so we're gonna swap this out into a stainless steel pot and then use the induction top. Oh my gosh, what are the chances? My pot switched out back onto medium high heat on the induction. Thank goodness I got this. Stir until it comes to a full boil. Get that timer out. Okay, so right now this is a rolling boil, setting a 60 second timer, and uh, we're just gonna stir while this boils. Stir, 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 and then we're going to take it off heat. Oh my gosh, the smell is so good. Mmm. Okay, rolling boil, 60 seconds, and now we're just gonna dump in our peanut butter, oats, and vanilla. We're gonna stir that up with two teaspoons of a nice vanilla. Mix, 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 mix. This is gonna melt the peanut butter and just distribute everything evenly. It starts setting up right away, so you can't let this hang out for any period of time. This is all together, so we're gonna dump these out in cookie-sized pieces onto parchment paper. You can use a cookie scoop or two spoons just to portion out like heaping table-sized discs of cookie. They're gonna spread right away. If you want, you can flatten them out a little bit more, but that's totally up to you. So as you scoop these out, you're gonna notice they start not spreading out as much because they really do set quickly. These are gonna hang out on your baking sheet for about 20 minutes or so until they're set enough to eat. And then you can jump right on in and enjoy. 
half of these cookies are already gone. Brian's been sneaking a bite along with everyone else in this house. You've got to make this recipe. And if you like this video, check out my quick and easy playlist. That is like fudge and a cookie had a delicious baby. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and I'll see you in the next video.